Hello everyone, and welcome to Rollercoaster Joseph. In this video, I'm going to be doing a bit of construction update, number one, of Project Exodus. This is my first um, time down to the and my first time seeing the Exodus um, construction zone. So, I'm really looking forward to it. As I, I've seen it in photos, I know what it's looking like right now. But I figured, why not come down here today and see it for myself. So, yeah, I'll g get you some more footage of it when I, I'm right down into the area. So yeah, as you can see, there's the main road over there. And over here, the Monk's Walk. Heading down this way into the unknown. I wonder what we'll see. Yeah, my car's just parked on the other side of there, next to a scout hut. So, pretty cool. As I make my way down here, this is the old loggers um, leap area, of course, part of it. Oh, and I see loggers leap right now. It's my first time I'm back at really near. Th Actually, no, I tell a lie. It's, it's my second time back at Thorpe Park, but I was down here the other week, but I couldn't find a monk to walk because it was dark. But this week I can. <laughs> and oh wow. I can see Logger's Leap. As you can see there, Logger's Leap still exists for now. I can hear some construction work going on. Monk's Walk is definitely going to be used a heck of a lot in these next couple of months. As you can see over there, saw the ride. Is a hundred foot. Then Colossus over the back there. And then you can see Slammer, what well, the former Slammer, Nemesis Inferno, and Stealth, all over here in this lovely area, which will be home to the UK's tallest coaster. Which is pretty incredible, really, to just think about. The UK's finally going to get a new coaster over two hundred foot. So yeah, I'm going to um, make my way over here and get a couple of shots for you. But yeah, it's so nice to be back during the theme park season. If you yeah, didn't see it already, but I've, I did go to Chesterton earlier today, so yeah, it's filmed on the same day. So plenty of content for you guys to watch. And let's go and see. Ooh. Now this is interesting. Now, of course, I will be uh, down here quite a bit this year. Of course, um, for Coaster th um, 2, 3, um, 6, I believe it is. Actually, there's a stump here. I'm going to have a little peek over the top the fence as you can see a lot of construction work is going on there's Colossus saw and loggers leaf over there it's just being completely flattened and shows you how much space there realistically is over here. The trough's all gone now. Wow. Free Fruit Mask has gone. It looks so different to how it did before. Wow. Now, of course, we know the coaster's um, height is going to be um, 236 foot tall. That's why it's called Coaster 236. And it's going to be double the height. So take the height of saw, double it, and then add a little bit on top, and that's how high it's going to be. So, yeah, the station's going to be over here somewhere. Around here. Or just in front of me, or something like that. And then you've got an outer bank um, turn out into the station before going up into the lift hill, taking you all the way up to 236 foot tall. Not only that, but the advantage of this area is the fact that you're going to get a load more 
vantage point of Saw the Ride just over there, which will be interesting. Yeah, so lots to be looking forward to here down at Monk's Walk and uh, down at Thor Park. Anyway, I'm going to continue on walking down and see if there's any other updates while I'm stumped here. And yeah, I'll, I'll go keep you posted. I hope at some point that this ride does get taken down at some point. As a slammer is a bit of an eyesore now. But um, over here is where the Platform 13 used to be, I believe it's called. Some sort of scare attraction. If I can zoom in over here. Focus. Yeah, there's the Logger's Leap State, um, Double the Drop. The famous one that Princess Diana went down, of course. The, uh, the, um, former princess. And then, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm only going to be here for a good little while. I'm, I'm not going to be here too long because I want to go down to Legoland. But, there's plenty of stuff to get excited for at, down at Thorpe Park at the moment. And of course we know that it's not just Project Exodus that's going on at the moment. It's also, um, Ghost Train is also on the way as well for the uh, former Darren Brown's Ghost Train. has been rethemed and overhauled into the ghost train which should be a really good dark ride hopefully and then yeah Nemesis Inferno through the trees there in all its glory the only BNMV in the UK at the moment sorry if you can't hear me too well but I'm going to put it over wet up here Yeah, I think Thor Park has got a really bright future ahead of it. I think it's actually got much potential. It has. And the reason for that is um, it's got so much land here. They've got this Sora Live area they could use for space. Behind Swarm Island, there's a bit of land back there. Ex Exodus doesn't even take up half the space that Logger's Leap took, um, took up, so there's plenty of more space back there if they want to develop it out even further. But yeah. There's the slammer old flop plot of land. Just loads and loads of potential here. At the UK's well most thrilling poon park. That's debatable, but Yeah. I'm only gonna go as far down as Nemesis and Fern. I'm not gonna go any further than that. Before I'm making my way back. Now, of course, in a month's time, I'll be able to take footage of inside the park. Adding to my Coaster 236 count. I'm going to try to get here as much as I can do. It's not always easy. Look at that. A bit of old coast track, it looks like. And there's the beast herself, the Intermen Accelerator, opened in 2005. Stealth. And it really is being stealthy today, isn't it? There you go. Stealth. And I'm going to make my way back down. Now. After we've seen Nemesis, I know, stealth and everything. Before heading back down to Project Exorcist side to give you some more updates. So, yeah. Here's another look at Project Exorcist. All the diggers over there. They were just working on the foundations at the moment, so there's no ash. So the only thing that's going in really is the track footers, which we have all seen, made by Mac, so we know it's a Mac Rides hypercoaster. And yeah, it will start construction soon. But all the all of Old Town has now disappeared. So let the construction of the new coaster begin for 2024. 
And of course, not only that, but we do know Colossus was having a bit of a retract during the off-season. I can't see it from here if the truck's been reinstalled yet, but I should imagine it has done. But yeah. This is the construction site of Project Exodus. Here's a long shot of the uh, um, former log of sleep. Of course, the double down. Once the longest and tallest um, lock flume in the world, it was, in, it was beaten eventually by Alton Towers log flume. But still, it looks pretty impressive. Unfortunately, I never got to ride it, so I, did, I don't have as much attachment to it as some people would. But I can understand from my experience of the loss of the flume how people feel about the loss of Logger's Leap. So I sympathise with those people. Because that, that ride must have taken hundreds of thousands of people around it during its heyday. I made my way back towards the end of Monk's Walk. I just want to say, um, this pro this project, I haven't really explained my th feelings with Exodus here, so I, I may as do it now. Um, my thing with Exodus is, the more I've looked at the plans and the layout of it, the more excited I am getting for it. I know Mac do brilliant coasters like Riot to Happiness, I've, I love, Lost Gravity I also love, and Icon is amazing. And then um, also DC Rivals, which I have not done, but I've heard good reviews from that as well. And uh, overall, this um, project, the more I think about it, the more I'm excited for it. I am a bit concerned about the length of Project Exodus, but it's, it's a new coaster. And what more can we complain about than for Thor Park, really? Basically, it's a new coaster coming to Thor Park, and it's a record breaker. Um, it's top ten uh, tallest coasters. It, it's, it's in the top ten tallest coasters in in the Europe, just behind Karnan, um, Shambhala, Red Force. Hyperion and uh, oh, one other Hyperion. That's it. And then, uh, yeah, I'll uh, get you uh, one last shot of the Logger's Leap because I think this is going to be the final stages before the Logger's Leap for um, Double Down Drop is taken out. Look at the final Logger's Leap um, drop in all its glory, and I believe this is going to be coming out soon. So I may as well document it now then people can look on in the future and realise how big this ride actually is. Because it is a very tall log flume. It's, a, it's very different to uh, Orton Tower's final drop, because Orton Tower's final drop on their log flume was just a straight down. This was a double down, so it was a, you'd get a lot more soaking wet. Because I was presumed it, it, it would have been like um, Stormforce 10, because Stormforce 10 gets you absolutely drenched, so yeah. It's sad to see a lo another log flume bite the dust, but we at least we know we're going to be getting something even better in its place. Similar to how the flume was replaced by the Wicker Man, this has been replaced by a Mac Ride type of coaster instead. So, yeah, exciting times ahead. 2024, like I said in the Portons Park vlog, it's uh, looking to be one of the best years the UK has ever had. Um, because not only have we got an um, Exodus to look forward to, but we've got a uh, new roller coaster to Drain Manor, new roller coaster to Southport Pleasure Island, uh, Pleasureland, and a new coaster, possibly two new coasters at um, Legoland Floor, um, Windsor, as well as all the other additions around the world. So exciting times ahead, and everything is starting to shape up to be amazing. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to put in a little few extra shots before uh, um, wrapping up this video. So yeah. Thank you all very much for watching my uh, um, Project Exodus um, construction update. I expect more to come throughout the year, they're going to be quite sporadic, so keep an eye out for them. And yeah, from me to um, you guys, from Rollercoaster Joaster, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye!